doctors are warning, I don't know if you've heard this, that too tight jeans could pose the risk of nerve damage and tingling sensations in the thighs. Real Life Stylist Crystal Frambrini is here to give us the skinny on finding jeans that look great, but don't, you know, hurt. Right. Good morning. Good morning. So tell us, tell us about this, because I don't know that I know that this could possibly happen. I know, of course, if jeans are too tight, they're a little right. uncomfortable, but nerve damage? Well, there's a big, huge media frenzy last week, and they're saying that people were getting, um, you know, yeast infections, which nobody wants to be a woman. That's terrible. Um, tingling leg syndrome. Just people are just trying to squeeze into the skinny jeans, so they don't know what fit they are. Okay. So today we're going to solve that problem and show you what's skinny and what is too skinny. Uh, we'll, we'll start there, too. We'll start right. with skinny jeans. The problem, like we said, constricting and can cause tingling leg syndrome. Right, and so all these fashions I picked up at the at the Oaks, at Westside Pavilion, and at Pacific View. And now these are skinny jeans, and she looks fabulous in them, but I'm going to show you a quick test that you can do when you're buying a pair of jeans. Take them on, try them on. You can't just buy skinny jeans off the rack. You have to try them on and do the thumb test. Okay, is what really is the simple. thumb test? Just put your thumb in the waistband, and if it fits comfortably, then yes, you can purchase the jeans. If you're having to like squeeze in there and, and you know, tr and it doesn't work, and they're too tight, okay? That's yeah. a really easy way. And we picked these up. These are called skin jeans from H&M. Skin, because you would like a second pair of skin. Okay. And they're about 40 bucks. So they're a great price. Great, okay, thank you. Now the low rise jeans, the problem, showing right. your underwear. Well, with low-rise or, jeans, not only are, might they be too tight, but you might actually show underwear. So a lot of people just forego the underwear, which is not good if you're a woman and can cause those dreaded yeast infections, which you do not like. So a quick test that we can do here is you do the thumb rule, mm -hmm. and then, once again, while you're trying them on, you actually bend over and touch your toes. Uh oh And she passes. in the mirror and make sure that there's no underwear showing, and that these jeans pass the test. And these jeans I picked up at Planet Funk, and they're premium denim. They're about $200. And with premium denim, you actually last longer. I mean, yeah. double stitching, more durable. And believe it or not, you're not supposed to wash your jeans. You're not supposed to wash Hardly your ever. jeans? Hardly ever. They're actually saying try not to air dry them. Put a little Febreze on okay. them and hang them out to air dry. So that's just another crystal. quick little tip right there. Okay, uh, moving on to our high waist jeans problem. Unflattering and can make you look plump. And right. that, of course, was the Jessica Simpson uh, situation where she had the mom jeans. And Unfortunately, jeans. we cannot forget that. And she's not plump at all. No. And so to avoid that problem is you need to know your body shape. So it's just, you know, figure out what your body shape test is, what I like to call it. You know, if you're an hourglass or a perfect figure or a ruler or a carrot, mm -hmm. which means that you're very narrow, then you can wear these types of jeans. And these types of jeans I picked up at Nordstrom, they're called Cut, and they're perfect for women in their 30s, 40s, Those and 50s. Those look really cute on um, you. Kind of like the name itself called Cut. You know, they have a little extra space in the back. They're great for women with curves. And the high waist is, is perfect because it sits a little bit high up, so it tucks some stuff yeah. in. So if you have some problems in the waist area, it actually will help hide it. But if you're an apple shape, then you should not be trying to squeeze yourself into a pair of these jeans. All right, so the ripped jeans. Here's the problem. Trying too hard to look trendy, right. too young. What do you say? Well, not only are you trying too hard to be trendy, but you might look like you can't afford a decent pair of jeans, which is not the, the rule, you know? So what you well, do- they can be some of the most expensive jeans, right. the ones that have holes in them. Right, okay. and these jeans I love, I like to do the stick to the three rule test. So if you have three holes, you're good to go. Generally more than three holes, it's a little much. And we picked these up at Pac Sun. These are skinny jeans with the holes in them. And there's a difference between the holes and then their shredded jeans. Now those are becoming very popular as well. And I'm wearing a little bit of the shredded jeans right now. Yeah. And they're just shreds all over them. But that's different from the, the ripped jeans. Okay, so keep your holes to a minimum. Right. And also the white jeans in the summertime. Our problem can be that you can see more than you want to. Definitely, which no one wants that. No. So with the white jeans, I like to do the tucking your shirt tail test, which means she's going to show you here. She actually has her shirt tucked into her jeans, and it should not sneak through. And these jeans are fabulous. They're from Gap. They're um, about $70, and these just came out last week, and they're actually cut better for all female types. They have more room in, in the back. Really cute More on junk you. in the trunk. Um, great jeans. And of course, all our ladies look fabulous. And the jeans today were provided by Westside Pavilion, the Oak Shopping Center, and Pacific View. For more information on Crystal Frambrini's denim test, visit KTLA.com. And really quick, the denim drive for charity. Yes, at the centers, you can stop by and you see these at guest services or around the malls. You drop off your used denim. You know, those skinny jeans that are too tight for you, take them and put them here for charity. All right, thank you. <laughs>